Los Estados miembros de la OTAN han renovado su inquebrantable solidaridad con Ucrania y han afirmado que el país se encuentra en el camino irreversible hacia la adhesión a la alianza. Sin embargo, a pesar de la contundencia de sus palabras, no existe una vía clara para que Kiev se una a la organización, a pesar de que esta es una de las garantías más fiables para la seguridad ucraniana. At this point, we had a very long discussion and uh, we uh, do not have the unity backing of this decision. But I think um, we will hear a very strong message on the membership that it's not subject to a discussion. And uh, I hope that the leaders, after the decision will be taken today and tomorrow, will be really vocal in messaging that to Russia, that membership of Ukraine to NATO is irreversible. And uh, this is a very clear signal to those who thought that this could be a trading point. The problem is the language irreversible is not legal language. It can be reversed. It can be reversed any time. So Ukraine isn't any closer to membership as we speak or at the end of the summit. It could be reversed, uh, but it would require 32 to agree on that. Are you satisfied at the end of this summit that Ukraine will have what it needs to defend its people from hospital attacks that we've seen at the start of this week? Of course, uh, there is much more we need. There is much more, uh, more we need. And as long, as long as people die in Ukraine, we will never feel, uh, feel uh, fully, uh, fully able to, to, prepare, uh, to prepare ourselves. But I think it's not the question about Ukraine. I'm sure that the moment where zero Russian soldiers are on Ukrainian soil, this will be the moment where we will be able to say that people are safe. Has the issue regarding restrictions on using weapons inside Russian territory, has that been resolved somewhat? Well, today, President has a, had a meeting with, a, with the key countries having uh, at his disposal the ability to release the, uh, the uh, permission uh, on the, uh, for Ukraine to uh, be able to destroy the Russian infrastructure, enabling this launching of the missiles, but also uh, the <clears throat> uh, military capabilities enabling these attacks. So uh, these were the meetings with Great Britain, with uh, Germany, and the bipartisan meeting in the U.S. Congress. So uh, following these meetings and tomorrow, there will be a meeting between President of Ukraine and President Biden. So this will be one of the issues to be discussed. And have you got any, will there be a release? Uh, will there be a reduction of restrictions for Ukraine? Um, I'm sure we are on a way to this decision, but there is no way that we can really forecast any announcements.